Okay, hey guys, this is going to be my controller on my... Alright, this is going to be my tutorial on making a quick reload for your macro controller. Look at those pretty lights. Sorry, I'm getting off track here, but... Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unplug it and put it in programming mode. From there, you're going to want to... See, it's in programming mode. Um, you're going to want to put a record feature on this. Um, there you go. And I'm going to make my playback the back L2 switch. And I'm just going to flash this to my controller. And you can see me in the background. I don't know if you can see that reflection, but that's me. So, hi. And then once this is done, uh, I'm going to take you over to the to the screen and show you what's up, pretty much, what I'm going to be doing here. There we go. It's all done. So you just want to unplug your controller and do this. Turn it on. Okay, so now you're going to go to that last... I have the, it set to the last page. And, as you can see, our record feature works. So, I'm going to take you over to the screen on uh, my Xbox. There we go. Okay, and I'm back. So, I'm going to... You're going to want to create a class, of course. I'm using... I'm going to make an MK14 macro um, using sleight of hand. I've already made the one without sleight of hand. So... But this is the one side event. So then you're just gonna start it. Uh, I put timed unlimited and I change it to dome the map. I just think it's a little easier because it's not as big. But uh, then once you're here, just wanna pick your class, wait for it to load. And uh, really, there's two types of macros that you can make with the side of hand. There's the one where you uh, reload and then you press right trigger or er, right bumper and it pulls out your semtex and then you hit Y and it stops it. Problem with that is it's not as fast as the one I'm going to show you right now, which is running macro. So what you're going to do is you're going to shoot once just so you can reload and you're going to hit record and you're going to reload at the same time and then down there in the corner you can see like right there you can see your bullets so there's one bullet missing if you can't see it that well shoot a little few like a few bullets you know and you can obviously see there's bullets missing so once you see the bullets get filled up you're gonna run and it's gonna look something like this Ooh, crap sorry I messed up it might not work or you might not get the first time, so just keep trying it. And ooh, I should actually probably shoot, right? Sorry, guys. Uh, I messed up there. See, this just shows that it's not. You have to have patience with this. So do it again. Okay. So that was it. I accidentally jumped while recording that, but I could take that out in the editor. So we're done here. And um, we're going to move back to the computer. So what I'm going to do is you could see there's my stuff right there. You're going to want to unplug your controller, turn it on, and, uh, well, put it in programming mode. And you're going to want to hit export. This one right there. This one. The one to the left. And it's gonna export. And there we go. And what this does is it brings over that macro you just recorded and it brings it over to the software. So now we have the recorded one right here. And you see this. Um, at the end, I accidentally pressed A. So, that's why you see this over here. 
but I am just gonna delete that because I don't need it. Um, as you can see, here's our time that we had. So you're just gonna start deleting all of these up things. And I mean, we'll need them, but there's an easier way to do this. And then you want to keep that dot the same for right now. And then you're going to move this close. Uh, there's one line in between. I know you guys can't see that close, but there's I have a dot, and then there's a line in between, and then there's a dot. And then you're going to want to click above and drag this up. And then you're going to want to right click and bring this over to lay on top of that second one. Right, or just regular click and pull this all the way up. And there you go, you got your simple macro here. So you have your X right there. And then you move down the timeline editor and there is your left trigger pull. So you're going to want to save this side of hand mp 14 I've already have one saved. I'm going to replace it. <sighs> okay, so now you want to come back here. And you're going to want to assign that to button X. Here. So, side of hand mk 14 Open. So now that's assigned to button X. And what you're going to do is flash it to your controller. And then once you flash it to your controller, you uh, just want to keep trying it out. You shoot once on your game and you hit X. And that should execute your macro. And if you see that it can improve and go faster, then you will want to mess with the speed uh, in the gear settings and stuff so it's done here I'm gonna turn on my controller here go to that last page and turn you this way you guys don't have that good of an angle but it's the best I could do right now just in a fast little glimpse here so you see me shoot I'm gonna hit X and see what it does See. And I could probably make it a little bit faster. So, let's see if you can get this. See, that's how it's looking right now. So I could probably make it a little bit faster. So I'm going to come back to the editor here. And I'm going to go to this. So for now, what I recommend you guys doing is going to your gears up here. And then... I don't know if you can see it, but that's currently set at 1, speed multiplayer. And you're going to want to change that up. Um, I had about, I don't know, not that long. I can't improve it too much. So I'm going to go to about 1.30. And I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going right here. And I'm going to reflash this macro. Bam. As you can tell, this is going to be very, uh, you have to have patience to do this. Eventually, you'll get it down to where you're, it's really, really, really close, and you can't really make it faster anymore. And there's going to be a time where you add one more to the speed multiplier, and it won't work. And you lessen it one, and it's going to work perfect. And that's when you know you have it just right. But if you get in the range of like five of that just right position, most likely it's not going to matter. So here it is right here. Again, I'm going to shoot and I'm going to reload and see how it is. See, I sped it up too fast and my bullets didn't, my bullets didn't reload. So, that just means I have to come back and slow it down now. So, there's my X thing again. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to slow it down 
to about 1.20 and try that one out. And then just sync that back to your controller. And we'll see how that one is. I have a feeling about this one that this one's going to actually work though. I'm thinking about doing a few um, tutorials on macros such as rapid fire macros. Uh, the anti recoils are really confusing to a lot of people. So I might do one of like that. Anything else I can think of I might try. So as you can see it's done here. I'm just going to unplug my controller, plug it back in so it connects to the Xbox, switch to my page, and see if it worked. See, it's too still too fast. So I'm gonna go back to the here and let's go to about 1.10. See if that one works. And these are just gonna be some things that you're gonna go through anyways when making these macros. Um once you have a base to a macro, it's easier. Um, I know it doesn't really make sense to you, but what I'm saying is once you... Like, I did a few no sleight of hand macros, and once I got my MK14 one down, I just started using that one as a base macro, and it just was much easier. Um, it's now done flashing, so I'm going to start this up again, go to my last page, and try it. See, that one is about perfect. I still have my full clip, and as you can tell, there's 19 bullets right now. It says 19 at the bottom. I hit X, it moves me forward, and I now have 11. And you can shoot. Um... A few step backs to this macro is, say you were to shoot, reload, and still go up. I didn't do anything. All I did was press up, but it's going to keep you running. Uh, that's a bad thing. Or if you were, like, say, shooting, and you run, and you hit X, sometimes it's not going to execute perfectly. And that's just something that you're just going to have to deal with. It does work often, though. And it does help you a lot. So, that was my tutorial, guys. If you have any questions, anything, go ahead and put it in below there. And uh, tell me if I should do some more of these macro tutorials. I'm uh, willing to do them. So, thanks, and uh, see you later.